So if you're a CFM player and you really enjoyed the single back wide trip scheme that I showed, then you're really going to love the addition of single back Z trip. This is only for people that play CFM that can take advantage of a custom playbook. Um, there is no playbook that has both of these formations. But if you liked what I showed you and you play CFM, then you want to add the single back Z trip as well because single back Z trip and Y trips are actually identical formations. So what you're doing is you're using the four audibles from Y trips, the four audibles from Z trip, and you're running a nine play scheme. Those eight audibles and then of course the play that you come out in and other plays that you have at your disposal as well. So um, using this all together is when it gets really, really deadly because as we talked about with the square route on the left in single back Y trips, now we're gonna actually take advantage of the post route in single back Z trip on the far right. That's gonna make this that much more deadly. Now, the one setup that we use is we put the tight end on an in route and we flat the slot guy, which is R1. Now, this is the example of why we always wanna put the tight end, which is X running downfield, on an in route. Because the post, which is run by circle in behind X, is actually going to allow a user defender, as you can see, he's covering the tight end, which a good player is, as I mentioned before, always going to check the tight end first. So this is going to allow him to play both of those routes. So we must have X on an in route. Now, I think I complete this pass, but it's a very tight window. As you see there, if, you know, he could easily have intercepted that. So having the post on the left in y trips the post on the right in z trip i mean if you're a cfm player now we're talking so again here's an example of the tight end on a streak he's playing down underneath that is exactly what he should be doing and he plays that area and again i get lucky just because he's looking at the tight end and being on a streak so we do end up hitting the post but these are very close these are very very close and that's why as i was labbing this up I realized the tight end must be on an in route and in routes are very very good now we still have square as a read on this play if we need it obviously if we want to go to square on other plays you know we're going to use the single back wide trips for sure we're going to use the speed out we're going to use the post route um, but sometimes you might get into a play where you really want to take advantage of the right side guy and they cover it so square could end up being um, you know your final read there because that route does take a little bit longer to develop which is why it's good to be able to read the tight end first then read the post then read the flat and then square can be your final read now one of the other audibles that I have for this we're doing all these plays all at once so this is basically a two play read this is one of my this is my play action audible and it's PA all go now, if you followed me before, you know that I love those routes where you can cancel the play action and the running back still goes on his route. Those are the ones where it's got a little bit of orange in them. So here, this is a two read play. The tight end is the first read because it's a play action. If they bite down, then I'm gonna throw it quickly to the tight end. Also, in this scheme, we have no play where the running back goes on any type of flat route. It's either a delay or nothing. Now you can put him on his own flat route, but I much prefer having this route. This can get really, really glitchy. The play action will pull down a lot of zone defenders. If they blitz from that side, he's gonna be wide open. So let's take a look at a couple examples here. See, we got a play action, we cancel it, and it's a two route read, X and triangle. So we see that he's over the middle covering X, we see the flats wide open, we cancel it, he still goes out on his route, and we're golden. So just a few examples really of this, as you see again, he covers it, so we just dump it off. Throwing this to the flats is absolutely money. And the reason why we read the tight end first is because we can pick up more yards, of course, with the tight end, and throughout the scheme, we want them playing over the middle. That's the great thing about this scheme is that great players are always gonna be checking the tight end first. I've said that at nauseum throughout these videos. Well, we want them to be covering the tight end. That's exactly what we want. We're really taking advantage of all the other routes. So 
once he gets into a situation where he gives up on that, this is a great play because we got the running back going to the flat. It is a play action, which can look like a run. And if they bail out on the tight end, then this is a great read to hit for a nice chunk of yards and a potential touchdown. So it's really, you, you know, you can certainly take advantage of the other reads, but just the way the play action is and how quickly you drop back, it's boom, boom, like that. You know, you could hit R1. Um, the outside guys, maybe, I guess, if they played, like, a cover one type thing or if, you know, missed assignment or something like that. But really, again, it's just hitting the tight end or the running back. Quick little cancel the play action. Boom, boom, boom. And you're going to be hitting them for yards before they notice. And then we've talked about the bubble screen. Bubble screen is great against cover two. But also... I really want to take advantage of the screen because this is all about who are they going to be manning up throughout this scheme. They're going to be cross manning guys. They're going to man up guys on the far left guy. They're going to man up guys on the slot, which is R1 because of the bubble screen. They're going to be manning up guys on the tight end, cross man, all this type of stuff. So even though we've got the bubble, um, if they end up cross manning or manning up somebody on the slot guy, um, we can then hit the outside guy for a wide receiver screen. Now, single back wide trips, wide receiver screen back in the day when you used to be able to put your running back on a flat route and it would zoom over to, this used to be my favorite screen in the entire game. You would hit the running back in behind all that blocking and it was absolute money. So single back wide trips, wide receiver screen has always been great. This time we're gonna use it again out of its identical formation, single back Z trip and we can pick up a ton of yards. Again, this is for CFM guys um, that are able to use a custom playbook and make their own scheme. This is not something that you can do if you just run a regular playbook because there is no playbook that has all this stuff in it. But as you can see, I mean, they really, really have to cover all of the routes in this scheme. You know, a lot of other formations it's easy to know what are the main reads. You know, that's the great thing about playing Madden for years is, and, you know, usering on defense, I feel like just because I've played so long, I understand where people are going to be going with their reads because of the fact that I just know I understand formations. Well, this is one of those formations. We're taking advantage of every route at its highest capacity. And I'm just going to zoom back here uh, one more second, and I want to talk about the one-step drop talked about it in the bubble screen so if they end up covering circle just take a look here at the one step drop so as you see the guy gets a little further out and I just see that there's a lane over the middle so with the one step drop all you do is you tap the bottom right button on whatever console you're on so the back bottom right you tap it one time just go tap and then run forward and you can pick up those yards and of course make sure that you slide so slot spot was the first play we looked at. Then we looked at um, wide receiver screen. We looked at PA all go. And now finally we're just looking at the run halfback slam. Now in single back wide trips, we've got the play power O. We've got the halfback counter. And of course we need a run that's gonna go up the middle. And the best run out of all these, these two formations the best run up the middle so that we can hit them anywhere we want to. Both sides or right up the middle is the halfback slam. Now, this is early gameplay footage, as I mentioned, so you have to be careful about using that dive because you can fumble now. They did patch that a little bit. Um, but with the right superstar running back, you, of course, can still do it. And if you play CFM, of course, you can upgrade your guys, no problem. So this... This scheme just attacks every area of the field. And it's probably my number one scheme that I use throughout the year that I had the most success with just because of the fact that um, if you're playing mind games ahead of your opponent, if you're always one step ahead, then you're going to win the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you soon.